this afternoon, I want us to do translation. And this is a heading under rigid motion. Under translation, what it means is that whenever you hear of translate, it means to add. And finding the image when the point and the translation vector is given. So this means you will add this point to the translation vector given in the question. So the first thing you are supposed to do is that you write down your formula. And the formula is A, let me make this point A plus V is equal to A prime. We know this is our X and this is Y. So it becomes 2, 5 plus the translation vector which is 1, 2 equal to A prime. So you add the numbers at the top, it becomes 2 plus 1 and 5 plus 2. So 2 plus 1 is what? It's 3. And 5 plus 2 is 7. Therefore, A prime is equal to 3, 7. You leave your answer in coordinates. The same thing, let's change the coordinates. This is P. Let me make it negative 1, 4. And this one is 3, 2. Find this image. We are using the same preamble. So it becomes P plus V is equal to P prime. What is P? P is negative 1, 4. Plus V is 3, 2. Equal to P prime. So you add the numbers at the top. It becomes negative 1 plus 3. 4 plus 2. So what is negative 1 plus 3? Negative 1 plus 3 is what? Positive 2. So we have 2. 4 plus 3 is what? 6. Equal to P prime. But we don't want our answer in a vector form. We want it in coordinates. So it becomes 2, 6. That's our answer. Because once we start using the gap sheet, you will plot the coordinates but not the vector. So always if you are given a point and the translation vector, this means you add the translation vector to the point to get a new image. That's the first heading under translation. The second heading is, now I will give you a translation vector and the image and I will ask you to find the point. Giving, giving points as P, X, Y, and vector, that's the translation vector, translation vector as A, B, image. Image, image as N, N. We know this point, that's P plus V, is equal to this image, which is P1. So what is P? We know P to be what? X, Y, plus V, translation vector is A, B, equal to the image is what? M, N. Now, you have been given the image and the translation vector and you have been asked to find the point. So we want this point, that's the x, y. So if you want x, y, that's using this formula, we want this p. We want this p. It becomes, so we, want, we have p plus n equal to p1. So you make this p the subject of the relation. This becomes p is equal to P1 minus V. You move this one to the right hand side of the equation. Now we have P. P to be P1 minus 1 V. So whenever you want the point, you will subtract the translation vector from the what? image. Now, looking carefully, we know the image as what? P1. What is P1? This is the image. That's P1. We know P1 as MN, so P is equal to MN. 
minus what is the translation vector? We know it to be A, B. I'm just deriving the formula. So P is equal to you subtract the numbers on top and also the numbers at the bottom. It becomes M minus A, N minus B. So, in summary, whenever you are given the image and the translation vector and you are asked to find the point, it means you subtract the translation vector from the image given. Take note, the formula becomes P1 minus V. I just wanted to prove it to you. That's how to derive the formula for finding the point when the image and the translation vector is given. I have given you an example. 1. K125 is the image of the point Q by a translation vector 1, 3. Find Q. We know Q to be Q. No, this Q1 is equal to Q plus V. Always, if you want Q1, you add the translation vector to the point to get this new image. So if you want to get Q, it becomes Q1 minus V is equal to what? Q. So it's Q is equal to Q1 minus V. As I said, if you are given the translation vector in the image and you are asked to find the point, you subtract the translation vector from the image. Now we know Q1, that's the image, to be what? 2, 5. Minus translation vector is what? 1, 3. So you subtract the numbers at the top and the numbers at the bottom. So we have 2 minus what? 1 and 5 minus 3. So 2 minus 1 is what? We have 1. 5 minus 3 is what? 2. Therefore, we have our Q to be 1, 2. So you see, if you add this 1, 2 to the translation vector, you will get 2, 5. Let me prove it. Q. We have our Q to be 1, 2. Plus this 1, 3. 1 plus 1 is what? 2. 2 plus 3 is what? 5. This means we are right. Our answer is right. I just wanted to prove it to you that if you add this point to the translation vector, you are going to get this image. But it was not part. Now, let me just make some changes here. We are using the same example, but I am just changing the figures and the letters. I am making here S and here 7, 9, negative 2, 5. This is S, S. So we know S1 to be S plus V. The point plus the translation vector will give us this image. So if you want S, it becomes S1 minus V is equal to S. So S is equal to S1 minus V. Now what is S1? S1 is 7, 9. Minus the translation vector is negative 2, 5. So we have S to be, so we subtract the numbers at the top and the numbers at the bottom. So you have 7 minus minus 2 and 9 minus 5. So it's 7 plus 2. This becomes plus 9 minus 5. So S is equal to, what is 7 plus 2? It's what? 9. And 9 minus 5 is what? 4. So we have S is equal to 9, 4. Four. So this means once you add this to the translation vector, you must get this one. Image. Let's prove it. It becomes 9, 4 plus 2, 5. And 9 plus negative 2 is what? 7. 4 plus 5 is what? 9. You see, we are getting the image. Always. I just wanted to prove it. But the answer is 9, 4. Take note. We are leaving it in coordinates. Now, the last heading is finding the translation vector when the point and the image is given. We know given point Q as X, Y and the image as M, N and translation vector as A, B. 
we know Q, the point, plus the fluctuation vector will give us the image. And what is Q? Q is x, y, plus the translation vector, which is a, b, equal to Q1 is what? M, M. We know now, you have been given the point and the image, and you have been asked to find this translation vector. Now, using this formula, using this formula, to get the translation vector, it becomes V is equal to Q1 minus Q. You move this one to the right hand side of the equation. So always to get the translation vector, you subtract the point from the image. So translation vector in summary, translation vector is equal to image minus point. That's the formula. I have two examples that will illustrate this. So example one. A1 says 4 is the image of the point A, grade 5. Find the translation vector. So we know A plus V is equal to A complement. To get the translation vector, it is A complement minus A. Now what is the image? Image is what? Says 4 minus A. What is A? A is 3, 5. So to get V, you subtract the numbers at the top. 6 minus what? 3. 4 minus 5. So you have 6 minus 3 is what? 3. 4 minus 5 is negative 1. So translation vector, you will leave it in this way because we are talking of vector. We want the translation vector. We know always we add the translation vector to the point to get the image. We add this one to the point to get the image. Because 3 plus 3 is 6, 5 plus negative 1 is 4. You see, we are getting this means the translation vector is right. Now, let's talk for question 2. We have P1, 2, 5. Is the image of the point P, negative 1, 6. Find the translation vector. We know P plus P is equal to P1. To get the translation vector, you will subtract the point from the image. So what is P1? P1 is what? 2, 5. Minus P is what? Negative 1, 6. So it's V is equal to 2 minus minus 1. 5 minus 6. It becomes 2 plus 1 because it becomes positive if 2 minus signs are written it becomes positive 5 minus 6 v is equal to 2 plus 1 is what? 3 5 minus 6 negative 1 so the answer is 3 negative 1 because 3 plus 3 is what? no you add this to the point 3 plus negative 1 is what? 2 negative 1 plus 6 is what? 5 this means we are right always Translation vector is being added to the point to get this image. So I am done with translation. Translation has three main headings. First one, in summary, is that they will give you the point and the translation vector and they will ask you to find the image. Second one, they can give you a point and an image and they will ask you to find the translation vector. Last one, they will give you an image and the translation vector and they will ask you to find the points. So this brings us to the end of today's lesson. And in our next lesson, I will be taking questions on rigid motion. We will be using the graph sheets. So now I believe we have understood translation under this session. Thank you.